What's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Superman? Chemtrails? Or is it cloud seeding? Wait, what the heck is cloud seeding? Hey guys, Julia here for Dini's. Humans like to make it rain. From rain dances to storm and X-Men, we've always dreamed of controlling the weather. Apart from rituals in science fiction, science might have found a way. Clouds are made up of millions of tiny water droplets, but these droplets hang out in the air unless they stick to tiny particles. Then they become heavy enough to fall to Earth. Normally, these particles are things like dust. A study published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters found that pollen might help form clouds too. Previously, scientists thought that pollen grains were too large to have any effect on weather. Yet this new research suggests that when pollen gets wet, it breaks apart into smaller pieces, and these smaller pieces could make the building blocks of clouds. So it seems like a small leap of logic to find a way we could help this process along. Maybe we could make clouds out of thin air. Sound like science fiction? Well, it's already a thing. It's been a thing in the American West for decades already. In California, water agencies and utilities dish out three to five million bucks a year on it. Cloud seeding produces nucleation, when water particles attach to other small particles and condenses. Basically, it makes water vapor form clumps and into a cloud. If it gets heavy enough, it falls to the ground as rain. One study published in the Journal of Applied Meteorology and Climatology found that this process can improve rainfall by up to 15%. While this doesn't seem like a whole lot, this technique proved effective in a desert in 2010. An $11 million project produced 52 rainstorms in the Abu Dhabi desert. In this case, scientists working for the United Arab Emirates government designed ionizers, which produced charged particles. As they rose into the atmosphere, these particles collected dust. When water particles condensed around the dust, it formed clouds, which turned into rain. Worried your wedding day might be a little wet? Well, London-based luxury travel company Oliver's Travels can help. They'll have a pilot fly near your event location and sprinkle a few silver iodide particles into the air a few days before the shindig. These particles look very close to ice on a molecular level, so they make water condense and, well, you get the idea, rain happens. This clears the air so clouds won't build up on your big day. Although prepare to cough up a pretty penny, the service can run up to $150,000. I know what you're thinking. Can we just make a bunch of rain clouds and end the drought? Well, there are some skeptics. One study published in the journal Atmospheric Research found that cloud seeding attempts aren't all that successful. Looking over a 50-year period, the researchers conclude that an increase in rainfall was the result of chance, not cloud seeding. But other scientists think it could tame hurricanes. In a study published in the journal Atmospheric Science Letters, researchers created climate models to understand how creating clouds could cool down the oceans. Hurricanes get whipped up by warm waters in the ocean. As sea surface temperatures heat up, hurricanes get more energy. By creating clouds above ocean hotspots, the clouds could act like reflectors, bouncing the sun's energy back into space. But on the other hand, such clouds might reduce rainfall in the Amazon or cause other unintended consequences, which is the main problem with this whole cloud seeding thing. You can't predict the weather, even if you make it, so more research is needed. So it might not save us from a drought, but could the ocean save us? Julian finds out in this episode here. Hello, guys, the Pacific Ocean is like right there. Salt water minus salt equals water. Let's go, do I have to think of everything? Well, actually, San Diego County had the same idea. They're currently building the biggest desalination plant in the Western Hemisphere. What do you think? Would you pay to make it rain before your wedding? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back here to D News. We've got new episodes every day of the week. <laughs>